Hey, it's Sam Backer, and thank you for getting access to GeoTarget. I'm so excited that you've joined us <laughs> inside the members area, and I'm really looking forward to helping you as you move forward, GeoTarget your campaigns and make more money online. Now, before we get to that, um, I wanted to talk a bit about GeoTarget Pro. Now, you'll have seen that there are a few more options that you didn't hear too much about on the sales page of GeoTarget. So I wanted to hand this over to the creator of this software, Neil Napier, so he can actually show you um, what this is all, uh, all about and why you'd want to get access to GeoTarget Pro. Hey there, this is Neil Napier here. Now, if you're on this page, it is very likely that you have already gotten access to GeoTarget and you want to know exactly what GeoTarget Pro has in store for you. Now, there are a lot of things mentioned on the sales page that you'll be getting as part of the GeoTarget Pro, but what I wanted to do is to give you a walkthrough of exactly what the two additional features as well as the analytics that you're going to get are and exactly how you could use them as well. So let me walk you through the first feature which you're going to get in this case, which is GeoTarget Blocks. And I'm right in the GeoTarget Blocks uh, dashboard at the moment. And as you can see, I've set up two of those very, very recently. One is GT Block. S UK and one is buy button US. So what I've done is for the same page as you can see this right here 9286 slash 1 I've set up two different geotarget blocks. What it does it allows you to actually set up some piece of text could be one paragraph could be two could be one line whatever for a particular country and if the traffic comes from that country only then can they see that message for example right now I'm going to show you this and I'm just going to reload this to show you that I don't see any text over here and that's exactly the text that I have edited right in as you can see I put in two blocks and I see no description right over here because right now I'm not in either US or the UK but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect to the United States so let me pick United States here and I'm going to VPN into it and I'm going to show you exactly what happens. Let me bring you back in as soon as it's connected. Excellent. Now this is connected to US. So what I'm going to do is simply reload this thing and you'll see suddenly new text popping up right where around my mouse is and that means that right now the traffic is coming from US. So you will only see this text if you're from US which is very very powerful. Now let's go in and see what happens when we come in from the UK. Okay, as you can see, now I'm connected from the United Kingdom via my VPN. So when I reload this, you'll see that this text will disappear and a new set of text will now appear, which says you will see this if you're coming from UK, which is perfect if you want to market to people based on where they're coming from. So you don't even have to focus on the country codes or uh, city codes anymore. You could basically show high text as and when you want. This is the power of GeoTarget. Now think about how you could use this in other situations as well. For example, you could simply use this in video marketing, show a certain video when people are coming from a certain page or show another if they're coming from another country, for example, rather. So you could do that as well. You could show different buy buttons based on where people are coming from. You could add in different texts. You could change the slang. You could change your entire sales page based on where people are coming from. The next feature I want to show you is called GeoTarget voice now this is something that I can promise you you have not seen anywhere else I, I'm sure you've seen features where you could put in a piece of text and that is automatically read out uh, in audio when people land there in fact we recently introduced it in one links one of our products as well but what you haven't seen is somewhere where people can actually customize the text to the local language and let me show you how this actually works so let me make another demo right now let's call this KV demo and in this case, I'm going to put in some text and say, hey, welcome from whatever city they are from and say, comma, insert country tag, whatever country they're from as well. So welcome, hey, welcome from, you know, it could be Turku, Finland, welcome from, uh, from Bangkok, Thailand. You could have any of these in there, but that's okay. Nothing too ecstatic about this. You've probably seen before. What you haven't seen is this radio button right here use visitors local language if you choose to use that what's going to happen is that as soon as we pick up the country from where the person is coming from we're going to automatically translate into 
or the, the language that is spoken in that country and we default to the language that is the closest to that country in the database. For example, if it's someone from uh, India, we'll choose Hindi. If it's someone from China, we'll choose, uh, in this case, it is Mandarin because that's closer to, I mean, of course, you can either have Cantonese or Mandarin, but we chose one. So it depends on where people are coming from and based on that, we pick up the language you create this. And as always, the next thing you do is you grab the embed code, you put it on any site that you want, and that will automatically be read out for you right within the tool itself. But this is not where we stop. The Pro Upgrade has tons and tons of analytics for your campaigns. Not only does it give you all the analytics of all the visitors that end up on your site, as you see right here, but it also gives you other data. And number one, this all can be selected based on the number of pages so you can have people uh, you have data about people from all different places all different locations as you can see this is from redirect campaign this was a referrer this is the ip the country the city the user agent uh, the operating system the device time how long they spent as well as a date now what i'm looking at right now are global statistics i'm going to show you campaign by campaign statistics as well so globally we've had so many visitors in fact in one day we had over 550 visitors and that has changed over time uh, and you can see here all these uh, mapping shows exactly where most of our visitors are coming from so number one is United States number two is Philippines number three is Georgia Finland and that France then France, then you have the browsers. What browsers are people using? If you know this data, it is very, very pivotal that you can actually advertise to them as well and say, hey, are you a Chrome user? And that would give you, get you half of the people saying a big emphatic yes. Then you've got device types as well. So only 4% from smartphones, 8% from iPads, 20% from PCs, and 66% from about desktop computers and laptops as well. Operating systems, you've got Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows 8.1. It's important to know all these things so you know exactly what kind of visitors you're getting. Then you have the average time spent. So how many people are actually spending time on your pages? Then you have returning visitors. How many returning visitors are coming to your pages? And how many visitors are unique? How many visits are unique over a given 30-day period? This is very interesting as well. Visits by time frames. And the time frames are calculated in the eastern New York time zone. So it tells you that most of the visitors, close to 920, are coming between 9 a.m. to 12 a.m. in the morning. Then it tapers off till after 9 a.m. when there are only a few visitors coming in from between 9 and midnight, which will help you understand exactly what kind of campaigns you need to set up as well. The very last thing is an overview of total number of campaigns. Whenever you go over any of the link, it shows you how many visitors have come through in various different campaigns. But I'm just showing you the global numbers. Let me actually go in and show you what the numbers are per campaign. So let me find some campaign which I know has a lot of data and you'll see exactly how useful that data actually is. So let me pick one which I know for sure will give us a lot of data so I can show you that. All right, so I'm here and you can see that we already have tons and tons of data from this particular campaign and then you can see exactly how many people came from the United States, 486, 97 from the UK, 72 from Canada, 62 from Pakistan, and so on and so forth. Then you can see 49% Chrome users. You can see a lot of people coming from their personal computers. You can see what kind of operating systems they have, how many returning visitors there were, how many unique visits there were. And they were only there for six minutes, which I must say is not a very long time considering we had a pretty long video in that section. Then you also get visits by time frames. So you know exactly what time people are landing on that page so as I said along with everything that you see on the page you will get access to geo target blocks and geo target voices which by the way are features that I can guarantee you you've never ever seen anywhere else this is Neil Napier and I hope I will see you inside the geo target pro members area as well goodbye